This is my Silky Big Boy 2000. I've been using this saw for a little over a year now and I'm ready to talk about how I've seen the light. Thank you for joining me. It's story time. And story time this week begins with a shout out to Chris Spackman from Adventures with Spackman because for a few years now, quite a few years now, him and I have had this friendly little debate going on about what's better, buck saws or silky folding saws. Now me, I was firmly planted in the buck saw world, but I have to say that my experience with this saw over the last year or so has made me realize the error of my ways. Spackman, you were right, I was wrong. You're smart, I'm not. You are dashingly handsome, me, not so much. I digress. Well played, Chris. It was a good fight. I enjoyed it thoroughly, but I declare you the winner. Obviously, what's better is a personal opinion, but I am now on Team Silky, and here's why. For years, I was using one of these. Not one, I actually went through three of them. Cheap little Fiskars folding saw, and I thought they worked just great because Ignorance is bliss. I had no idea. I didn't know any better. Towards the end of my experience with this, I had started to take a liking to buck saws, specifically homemade buck saws, because I wanted a buck saw. I wanted to see how light that I could make one, and that's exactly what I did. Insert buck saw, homemade buck saw. I made this thing out of pine. This thing's held up for years. This saw weighs 11.1 ounces. It does come apart. I can disassemble it for easy packing and storage, but it takes a little bit of time. And it has a 16 inch dry wood blade on it. And these dry wood blades rip. They're absolutely awesome. Once you know the difference, these things are just garbage, complete junk. However, what I noticed over the years was that if I was adventuring with anybody that had a silky or one of those quick folding buck saws that I wasn't using this all that much because it took a lot longer to put together and use. When you're out there for eight, nine days at a time, packing up and moving every single day, breaking down and putting things together constantly and over and over and over again takes some time. And I started to think about that quite a bit. And then that combined with the little argument that I had going on with Mr. Spackman kind of got me to thinking, maybe it's time to try the silky see what all the rage is about. So that's exactly what I did. Now, typically I'm kind of a lightweight gram weenie guy. That's what I've turned into anyway, for the most part. You know, weight matters. To be fair and get a good fair comparison, I got the big boy because these blades are quite similar in length. I figure it wouldn't be a fair test to compare a 16 inch saw against one that's, you know, half its size. So I went for the big boy. This has a 14 inch blade. It has 6.5 teeth per inch. The blade is tapered being that the bottom is wider than the top. That allows the kerf to be wider than the blade, in theory keeping the blade from getting stuck. And I believe that that works. It's a Japanese patent. This saw weighs 1.1 pounds. It cuts on the pull only, and these things just chew through wood. I'm not trying to go into a crazy deep dive review because there's a billion of them on YouTube about these things, but I do want to talk briefly about why I now believe these to be better. The big reason is that Bam, you're ready to go, just like that. I almost always have a saw with me, and even when I'm hiking, I bring a saw for the most part. And some hikers, they consider themselves to be stewards of the trail. I happen to be one person that believes in that philosophy. So, as I'm hiking along, pulling this out, opening it up, and going to work, even compared to the quick folding buck saws out there, this is so much faster. Same thing with a canoe. If you're floating down a creek or a river and you've got some strainers or you're cutting down some low hanging branches that are in the way, that's a lot easier. A lot easier than pretty much any buck saw out there. That's the main advantage right there. I will admit, for the most part, this is oversized. It's overkill for what I need for, for my typical applications. So I will be getting a smaller one. In the winter time, this is great because you can really process some wood. This bigger blade, it just chews right through wood like nobody's business. The other big advantage of a folding saw is that you can get into much tighter spaces. If you're dealing with a tight cluster of trees, it's a lot easier to get this blade in those tight spaces than it is this big guy. It makes a huge difference. And those two reasons alone are primarily why I'm switching over because those two reasons come into play quite a bit. And then those reasons combined with the fact that these things 
work. They cut very, very aggressively. I'll definitely be getting a smaller and lighter one for those weight focused trips. On trips where weight isn't necessarily an issue, I'll bring this with me just for ease of use and you can process much, much bigger logs. Get the wood that nobody else wants because they can't process it. You can if you got one of these. I'm a fan and I'll continue to be moving forward. Absolutely. That's it. I'm pretty sure that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you later.